album six of eight albums. This is a continuation of the video series I'm doing on a private collection I purchased from a gentleman in California. I paid $1,300 for about 15 to 1,600 postcards. And I'm going through and showing you each of the cards. And when I do this, I'll show you the card, but I also put a little comp. I went out and did preliminary comps. So I do, I'm just not saying, I think this will do good, whatever. I actually went out and did some research on each one of these cards. So you'll get a good feel of what the numbers would be. Now, if you want to see more details about the purchase, go back to video one in the playlist. Uh, for the private collection and I get into some of the details on how I purchased this and what you know what I paid and how I came up with the number I paid. But there's eight videos to this series and this is uh, number six for album six. There's about 200 some cards per album. This is probably the biggest album out of them so it'll take a little longer. I do go through them a little quick but make sure you pause if you see a card that you want to look at. But I want to try to keep it you know fairly moving along. Uh, I'm publishing videos every Saturday because how I had to do this, when I got the cards in, I put a little sticker on the back with the comp number, it's just a little post-it note like thing, but I couldn't scan the cards with that. So I went ahead and scanned all the, all the cards from eight albums, then I went out and I comped them, and then uh, I'll show them on the video, and then i got to list them to get the statistics, the numbers I'm going to show you at the end of this video. So this first part, clip one I call it, is just showing the card and what, I comp and what the comps are for that card. And then I'll go ahead and I'll list them, and then I'll come back and put a clip two at the end with exactly what was in this album, what I, numbers I listed it for. And you know what? Sometimes when I list them, I sell them. And then I'll update the other album. You can skip the introduction and do all that in the video. There's a timestamp or chapters, they call it, at the bottom of your screen. You can skip forward, backwards, come back and watch what you want. If you just want to see the statistics, they're at the end. But make sure you come back and look at the cards and uh, spend a little bit of time. I'll be doing updates. I'll probably put one in the playlist once I get everything done. And then on the weekly videos throughout the year on how I'm doing with this collection. And I've set it up to pretty easy to track when I sell something. At the end of my title, I'm actually putting in eBay and Etsy and HIP, I'm actually putting AB1, AB2, AB3, and it means album. And so when I see that, I'll go and update my spreadsheet with the price I sold that card. And then I have all these other little tables that calculate to give me these numbers. So it's not a real, put, it doesn't really put a lot of work on me. But let's go ahead and get going with this larger album here. I'll show you the cards, and then we'll see what I got. <clears throat> so the first one is uh, Destroyer Piers, U.S. Naval Station, Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, this is just a 4 to $5 card. Chrome card, there's the Piers. It's posted, uh, 1962. I kind of know what the Naval ones are. That's going to be, you know, four fifty-five. dollars uh, Same with this one. Naval Ships and Mothballs in San Diego. It's a Chrome card. Uh, unposted, that'll be a you know 455 card. This next one is uh, Deslin Headquarters Pier One and Two in the Naval Station. Another Chrome card, Navy thing, you know, four to five dollars. This is Deslin Headquarters again uh, of a ship, four to five dollars Chrome card. Newport, Rhode Island Atlantic Fleet ships. Again, I have a lot of experience on what the boats are going to go for, 455. Naval Station, Quonset Point, Rhode Island. Nice sign on there. I'm probably put that one up at 555 just because of the nice sign. It's unposted. Here's a ship, North Carolina. You know, 455. I have different views of that ship already. This was a kind of a neat one. Uh, Camp Anacon, the Seabees. This is a linen card. Look at that. It's got the CPs in there. The comps I found on there was uh, eight eight fifty five. So it's been posted, but that card will go up for eight fifty five. Look at the color and the little CB right on there. So that'll be a good one. <clears throat> this one is North Carolina again, four fifty five card. Uh, USS Tosog, another 
Navy ship. And the gentleman said that he did buy some boat cards from me, some ship cards from me. So I might be getting cards back that I he bought from me that I'm going to resell again. So it's going to take a little longer to list this one because i got to check and see if I already have the card on some of these boats. And then I'll just put them back in and change the quantity. Uh, USS Hollister. 45 card. USS Arnold. Uh, 455 USS William V. Pratt uh, 455 USS Worcester I think this is one of them uh, 455 USS Strait Str Sterrett there's the name right there 455 I sell all the ship cards home cards like that for uh, 455 General View of the Waterfront, Boston, Massachusetts. Just a linen card, a waterfront. Pretty common card. Only counted out at, you know, $45. And the little list on the back, I, I did a range so I can kind of go up and down. Boston Harbor, Massachusetts, Fort Warren. This is an 855 card, is what it comped out to be. That's the fort right there, unposted, divided back. 855. Uh, this one is Fort Andrew, Paddocks Island, Boston Harbor, 6 to 8, divided back. It's uh, been posted, so 6 to 8 for that fort. I got a lot of forts in this one. Fort Warren again, so 6 to 8 for Fort Warren. Um, fort Independence, 6 to $8 will be the range. And that's uh, undivided back. And this one's an undivided back of Fort Independence SIM card. Six to eight. USS Vermont. Uh, this would be a five to six. It's an older card divided back. So those I usually try to price up a little bit. Uh, view of the Navy Shipyard, Norfolk, Virginia. This is an undivided back card, and that's uh, six, seven to eight dollars for that card is what it comped out to be. This one is USS Battleship Georgia. It's a white border, four to five. Uh, off to join the Atlantic Fleet. This is just a vertical card of a ship. There was a lot of them out there. I remember this. It's just a 455 card. Um, this one is Battleship on the bridge in Minnesota. A lot of them out there. It's a divided back all the card, but that's a 455 card. USS South Carolina linen card, uh, 455. USS Utah, same, 455. US South Dakota, USS South Dakota, divided back linen car. It's like a linen. I wouldn't really say it's a linen. It's too old for that. Uh, but that's 455. USS Iowa, 455. USS Ranger, 455. Um, US. U.S. Aircraft Carrier Long Beach, California, 455. Uncle Sam's Great Airplane Carriers, Southern California Waters, 4 to 5, white border. Airplane Carrier Wasps, 4 to 5, linen card. Um, San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge with battleships in there, that's 4 to 5, very common card out there. Same card. Four to five. Uh, here's one with the aircraft carrier and the boats. And I actually saw some planes flying around, and I thought it would be a little bit more, but it comps out four to five dollars. Uh, same card, four to five dollars. Uh, this is an aircraft carrier in the Navy. It says four to five dollars linen card. And this is uh, carrier at the foot of uh, Broadway, San Diego, California. Uh, four to five Navy card. Um, big U.S. carriers coming home. This is a five to six because just the coming home thing. It's got some writing on the back on there. It was posted in 1954, I think. So that one I'll try to get a little bit more. Uh, here is an air, and then some uh, airplanes, Boeing flying fortress, soars above the clouds. That'll be a five to six. I just like it, the airplanes. Here's another one. Uh, seaplane like that's a uh, eight to ten is this one actually counted out eight to ten dollars it's a linen card unposted so eight to ten and this one 
I actually put the sticker in the front. It should be in the back. Um, this is only a four to five. There's a lot of these out there, the bombers. I might try to do five to six with the airplanes just to push the envelope a little bit. Patrol bomber, this is a five to eight dollar card. That's a patrol bomber card. This is a five to seven dollar card, another airplane. Five to seven. This was a really neat one that I thought would be cool, but just the way that looks, that's only a five to six. I'm gonna try to get five, six dollars for that. A lot of them out there. Uh, here's another, this is one card. Wow, this is a thick card. Eight to nine dollars for that card. I'm not, uh, Gunman Avenger. Grooman Avenger. So, this is a really thick card. So I thought there was two cards there. Uh, Douglas DBDs. Four to five. Common card. Just when you think you got some stuff on there. Bay Bridge and San Francisco Skyline. Linen card. Four to five. Uh, USS Carrier Houston. Four to five linen card. This was a neat one with guys on the deck. Seven to nine. There's some guys on the deck right there. Look at the blue in the sky. Uh, linen card. It says uh, action aboard an aircraft carrier. But that one's a seven to nine card. I'm going to push the envelope on that one for sure. Battleship passing under the St. John's Bridge, Portland, Oregon. Four to five. USS Ramsey, Ramsey, four to five. Uh, same card, four to five Ramsey. But this will fit really well into the boats I have. I have a you know twenty five thousand, twenty four thousand different listing of boats. These will just fall right into the same Navy stuff, and I'm pretty versed on that so far by doing all those. But this is just a Fleet Week, another one there, four to five dollars. Destroyer at sea, four to five dollars. Linen card. Navy cruiser in action, four to five dollars. Nothing really special about the, the ship cards, but people that are on them, it's special to them. So that's why they buy them. Four to five for another boat. Um, light cruiser, four to five dollars. Linen card. Uh, a PT boat. Now this one's seven to nine, because that's a PT boat. That's different. So that's when General Kennedy was, you know, PT boats and how I remember it. USS Raven, four to five, linen card. Aircraft carrier with planes in, on the deck. That was only four to five. There was a lot of them uh, listed out there. Linen card. USS Destroyer, four to five. Now these, this, type, this card was interesting. I thought it would do more. Just the way it looked, all these different things, but there was just a lot of them listed. I did put it five to six. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit because it does stand out a little bit. But it's a linen card uh, posted, and it's a U.S. Coast Artillery. But it didn't take long to see how many were listed out there. Battleships in Puget Sound at twilight, five to six. Anything with sunset to uh, moonlight all up. This is the USS Navy. Same thing. A lot of these cards out there with the insets and stuff. It says U.S. Navy, uh, five to six. Battleships at anchor, Long Beach, California. I put five to six just because of the, the way the sun. Pacific Fleet at San Pedro Harbor Cliff, four to five. Nothing really special going on with that card. It's a divided back, four to five. Now this one was interesting. I'm gonna do a little more research. I got seven to eight on this, but there's a. Uh, Rescuing a torpedo after practice, USS Utah. Look at those guys. They're, they're rescuing a, tor a practice torpedo. There is some out there, and I do have it on there, um, five to six, but I'll probably go a little higher. It's just a unique type thing, and I got a good Navy following, so I, I might be able to pick up a little bit. USS Battleship, four to five. Convoy Escort Piers, Norfolk Naval Base, four to five. We're gonna get out of ships here in a few minutes. Battleships at anchor, four to five. Uh, same card, four to five. Here's the Golden Gate Bridge with a boat underneath, definitely four to five. 
um, Bremerton Navy Yard. Four to five. A lot of these out there. Same card. This was a uh, USS Rhode Island. It, it's an older card, but it's still four to five. This was a Japanese uh, cruiser, but there was a lot of these out there. I did put six to seven just because I have a Navy following and just uh, with that up, a little symbol up there. We'll see what it does. Uh, this is the same same card. And they're a little thinner card. So I got six to seven on them. This is a series card. I thought it would be more some type of series with that symbol, but it counted out to be about four, four to five. Same thing here, Battleship Virginia. That just counted out four to five, and it's a little thinner than three and a half. Here's another foreign ship. Foreign ships I haven't sold that much of. Four to five. Pride of the Navy's Jamestown Exposition. This is a six to eight, just because of Exposition, Jamestown. And look at the back. It's a little different back there with that thing. So I put six to eight on there. I'll probably do a little deeper dive on it when I list it. And we'll see what it does. This one's got some damage to it. It's got a tear. It's a German cruiser. I put six to seven, even though it's got some damage. Not a lot out there. Italian cruiser, uh, six to seven. These are older cards. We'll see what those do. And this is an 8 to 10 card, Cruiser London class. Um, I'm not for sure why I. Maybe the comps, maybe there are some out there, but that, that's a divided back. It's a nice looking card, London class. It's got some seaplanes going over the top. So it's, that's probably why I put it 8 to 10. I'll probably do a deeper dive. Torpedo boats and cruisers, Pacific Fleet, 5 to 6. Torpedo boats, a little different. Mount Rainier, Tacoma, Washington. Definitely four to five. Four to five card. I'm trying to get it out of the light. And here's a type of submarine being built at Manitowoc, Wisconsin. They built submarines in Wisconsin. Linen card posted, four to five. Here's another one of the U.S. Navy's with a different mosaic, five to six. Like I said, there's a lot of those out there. I'm just going to try to get the extra dollar. Atomic Submarine Sea Wolf launching, five to six, just because it's a launching of the, and it says atomic, and it's got a flag. It looks like some action going on. Dry docks, Norfolk Navy Yard. Here's the dry docks, five to six, just because it's a dry dock. It's still a linen card. Um, same card, four to five. Battleship Rhode Island, four to five. 8 12-inch guns on the Super Dreadnought. I put 6 to 7. I couldn't find this card on there, but that's all the, the, the guns going off. I tried different ways. I have to go back and do some more research, but I put uh, 6 to 7. It might be a little higher. Minnesota, USS Minnesota, 5 to 6. Look at the guns sitting there. That's why I put it 5 to 6 more on there, and they got some guys on there. But look at the guns off the ship. This was USS New Jersey, and I'm going to probably do this 6 to 7 just because it's a night scene with a searchlight. Makes it a little different. It's a divided back card. Here's one with smoke, 5 to 6. Any kind of action on the boats, I try to go up a little bit. And this is an armor cruiser, Colorado. USS Ohio, 4 to 5, white border card, unposted. Here's another one with... Uh, Smoke, Battleship, Kentucky, probably five to six, six to seven. It does have uh, some edge problems at the top, but it's divided back. Rhode Island, four to five. It's got a mess on the back, people writing all over it. Here's another one of those Battleship Oregon. It tells with the length and everything. It's, it's a four to five dollar card, it comped it out. New Hampshire is the same thing, but it's five to six I put on there. Probably because of the smoke, showing some action. Uh, Minneapolis, four to five, nothing going on, just a boat sitting in the water. Navy Yard, Boston, Massachusetts, five to six. Big propellers, five to six. Screws, I think they call them in the Navy terms. Could be wrong. 
Boston Harbor and Waterfront Custom House Tower. Four to five. There was a lot of these cards out there. Not much going on with it. Charleston Navy Yard, Boston Mass. Five to six. White border card. Or no, divided back. It's a divided back card. A little older than it could be a white border. Navy Yard, Boston Mass. Five to six. Same thing. They're comping out at. Charlestown Navy Yard again, five to six. Divided back. Constitution Old Ironsides, Charleston Navy Yard, five to six. A lot of these cards out there. Undivided back. This one's got some damage on the bottom uh, left side of it. USS Battle, Missouri, and Dry Dock. I put five to six, even though it has that tear right there. It's an undivided back, and that is in dry dock. That'd be a good good filler card for someone's collection. Apple Island, Boston Harbor, as seen from Winthrop. Five to six. Didn't see a lot of Apple Islands. So, not too bad. Here's a chrome card of Boston Harbor. 455. Panorama East Boston. Six to eight. Just a little busy card on there. Boston Harbor Waterfront, 5 to 6. Boston Harbor, same card, 5 to 6. USS Armored Cruiser, Washington, 4 to 5. Nothing really going on special. I thought it would be like a series or something with that symbol on there, but it is a series, but it didn't help it much. Battleship Rhode Island, 4 to 5. White border card. Uh, four to five for Armor Cruiser California. Right there. Divided back. USS Rhode Island again. This is a white border. Four to five. Uh, this is uh, Ironworks. Four River Ironworks, Quincy, Massachusetts. Five to six. That's what the back looks like. So five to six dollars. USS Oregon, four to five. This album won't, it's got more cards, so the dollars will be probably be there, but cost, uh, the list per card, I think, is gonna be down with this one. Same thing, Ironworks. This is View of the Fort River Shipyard, Quincy, Massachusetts. I put six to seven. It's got some stuff going on here. And it was posted in 1908, to buy the back. Good card stock. Um, Two of these cards, Quincy Shipyard. I got two of these cards. I think they're four to five cards, dollar cards. Here's another one, six, you know, of the stuff going on in that yard. This is seven. Um, there's the office building for the place. It was only four to five, is what it comes out to be. This is uh, Quincy Yard again, and this one's five to six. Just a view of the yard. Maybe someone that will work there. Fleet at Rockport, Massachusetts, five to six. Divided back. Spanish War and Dry Dock. Capture of the Spanish War and Dry Dock. Portsmouth Navy Yard, New Hampshire. I put five to six. Just the dry docks are, you know, pretty cool. That's undivided back. This one's uh, USS New Hampshire leaving Portsmouth Harbor. Five to six because it's actually doing something instead of just sitting there. Uh, first and second squadron at anchor. Five to six because they're at anchor. Just uh, something different to look at. USS Battleship Ohio, four to five. Not doing much. Battleship Missouri, four to five. Battleship Vermont, or USS Vermont, four to five. Vermont, same boat, ship, four to five, divided back. Atlantic Fleet entering Princeton Harbor, Mass. I put five to six because they're actually coming in on a row. They're lined up like ducks, coming right in. USS Vermont again, four to five. I wonder if this guy was on the Vermont. A lot of those. Uh, Navy Shipyard, I put four to five, not much going on there. Probably found some. USS Rhode Island, 
four to five. Battleship Rhode Island, four to five. USS Illinois. I'm from Illinois. That's where I'm at right now. Under by the back, four to five. U.S. Cruiser Baltimore, four to five. USS Alabama, four to five. Undivided back. Just because it's undivided back doesn't mean it's worth a lot. There's a lot of these out there. Uh, this one's five to six. This was a USS Cruiser Boston. So this one counted up a little bit more. Same with this one. Um, Armor Cruiser Colorado. Under by the back. Uh, Armor Cruiser Maryland. Five to six. Battleship Kentucky. Five to six. Must have gotten something. Here's one with smoke. Armor Cruiser Washington. Five to six. Got some smoke coming out. Smokes are like signs to me on ships. If I see signs, I raise the price. If I see smoke, I raise the price. You know, there is a method to my madness, I think. USS Massachusetts, five to six. Smoke, raise the price. Sign, raise the price. Um, USS Minnesota, five to six. This was a neat one, Battleship Iowa. This was a, a neat picture. I put uh, seven to eight on that one. It's just a different view of that card. So, by the back. Here's another one with smoke. Protected Cruiser, Columbia and War. Five to six, smoke. A lot of smoke on this one. Armored Cruiser, five to six. Cards on fire. Here's another one with smoke. USS Maine, five to six. Armored Cruiser Colorado, smoke, five to six. Battleship Maine, five to six. Uh, Charleston, smoke. Kind of dates the boats when you see smoke coming out like that, probably. It kind of dates uh, the coal burners or whatever. Armor, Buster, Harbor, Sherman, Steamship, Piranha, and Battleship Olympia. Two boats. Two for the price of one. Five to six. This one, I don't know if I'll list. Uh, I'll probably, end up, I didn't put a price on it. It's got a missing corner. Probably go in the flea market bucket when I go in there. A lot of dark smoke on this one. Five to, you know, five to six. Torpedo camper and part of the British American flag. Five to six. Just too many words. Made me read, so I'll get some extra dollars. USS Corsage. I've sold this ship on other things before. So that's a 455 card. Same ship in Iowa, that's a five to six card. Kentucky with smoke, five to six. This is a dry dock, battleship dry dock, but it, it's got a lot of staining and stuff on it, and it's kind of really light and worn down here. I don't know if this is going to make it. So if I do, uh, I'll be a four to five card, a filler card for someone. Uh, USS Brooklyn, uh, four to five, it's got a missing corner up there. Good filler card for someone's collection. Uh, Colorado with the smoke again, five to six. Um, this one is the Indiana, and this will be a 7 to 8, and I'll probably end up, there's a little note with that card in there, and I'll probably scan that in and kind of put that in the list and then just throw it in. I won't charge them any more for that, but that was the Indiana. Uh, Battleship Ohio, uh, nothing really going on, so it's 455. This is an older boat. Protected Steel, Atlanta. That'll be a five to six dollar card. You see the flags on the map on there. This one is USS Monter Montgomery. Doesn't look too bad. It's got a few clouds or stuff going on, so I'll do a five to six on that one. Smoke five to six for USS Monitor Pruton. That's an older, older one. Divide it back. Uh, Wolverine, USS Wolverine, Erie, Pennsylvania. Now this one, yeah, smoke on there, five to six. Monitor Puritan, five to six, definitely. 
Monitor Terror at Anchor, New London, 5 to 6, 6 to 7. Just with the word terror puts fear of the price in me. And this is the Nevada. Uh, that'll be probably 4 to 5. Uh, Oregon's 4 to 5. Uh, Monitor Nevada, 5 to 6, just because it's an older boat. Battleship Nebraska, 4 to 5. USS Randolph, Forrestal. I've seen this card before. It's a 455 card, chrome card. Um, group of battleships, divided back, that'll be a 5 to 6. It's just a mosaic of them. Here's a submarine, but it's a different type of thing. Our, one of our latest submarines operating off Newport, but it's got. Um, some stuff on the back, some advertisement type things. So I'm gonna put this five to six, six to seven, just for that. Probably call it out in the title somehow. Receiving ship, uh, Puget Sound, Philadelphia. That's a different type of ship I, than I have. Receiving ship, so that'll be a five to seven in that area. Protected cruiser, San Francisco, five to six. Dynamite cruiser. Vesuvius, Vesuvius, for that name, five to six. I gotta spell it. League Island Navy Yard, Philadelphia. This is an eight to ten dollar card, about time. You know, uh, undivided back, but it, it's it's uh, League Island Navy Yard, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So eight to ten dollar card. Battleship Massachusetts, five to six. This one's steaming. Battleship uh, Wisconsin, five to six. Vertical card smoke. It's steaming, going somewhere. Um, a mine splash. You think this one would be special, but it's got a lot of creases on it right there. Um, a mine splash in the water. There was a lot of them out there, so it's probably a four to five dollar card. Battleship and Navy Yard, Brooklyn. This isn't bad. Looks pretty vertical card, so five to six. This way, four to five. This way, five to six. I got a plan here, you know. I, I'm figuring this stuff out as I go sometimes. Heavy cruisers of the U.S. Navy on patrol, and they're all turning the same direction. That's a four to five dollar card, linen card. Doesn't identify the boats. Battleship Rhode Island. Four to five, undivided back. Charleston, uh, it's got smoke, so it's five to six. USS Rhode Island, probably four to five. Here's one, cruiser Sa Scout Cruiser Salem, probably six to seven for being a Scout Cruiser. I, I haven't heard that term before. And the ones I'm doing, tor torpedo, torpedo Boat Destroyers, Cummings, and Cass and Bath Iron Works. Bath, Maine. That eh, doesn't look like much going on there. Divided back, probably four to five. Warships, repairing warships. So repairing is a word that I'll use for five to six, right there. Divided back. Warship in the Portland Harbor, five to six. Famous vessels in our neighbor, USS Oregon. Under by the back, five to six. Oregon, four to five. Battleship Oregon and Harbor, four to five. Nelson, four to five. Just a boat sitting in the water, no smoke. Receiving ship, this would be a five to seven dollar card. This one is a little different. Official Souvenir Jamestown Exposition 1907. I put six to seven. It's got kind of a silver ink on there, on that. A little different. So six to seven, that's what the back looks like. It's posted 1907, so it's the same year. Straighten these up before they fall. Uh, Constitution Iron, we did this card before. You know, five to six, maybe. Quincy Mass completing battleships at the Navy Yard. Um, not really much going on, but I'll do a five to six just because I like Navy Yards. Receiving Philadelphia showing officers' quarters. 
5 to 6 for that. Torpedo Boat Destroyer Stewart. Torpedo Boat, 5 to 6. Divided back. Same thing. Torpedo Boat, 5 to 6. Divided back. Here's a line of ships. A torpedo Fleet. The USS Torpedo Fleet. Definitely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 boats. I'll do 5 to 6, not 8. Just not enough there. Torpedo boats at Navy Yard. Same thing. 5 to 6, 5 to 7. Torpedo Flotilla. Flotilla's a board. 5 to 6. Remember with boats, it, you know, it's going to go back and forth. The same thing, fleet, 5 to 6. Uh, they'll probably end up between 5 and 7, a lot of them. There's a lot of smoke in this one with the torpedo boats. Uh, that'll be a 5 to $7 card. Do a little more research on it. Um, Atlantic Fleet. Looks like there's a torpedo boat there, 5 to 6. Another torpedo boat, 5 to 6. Submarine Chaser. Five to six. Um, torpedo boat destroying passing through Cape Cod Canal. Five to six. Divided back. Uh, dry dock. Five to six. I've seen this picture before. People, these guys standing on the gun. I think I got them in the prints. Um, this is a ten to fifteen dollar card because this is the original, not a re uh, reprint like the other ones I got. So I put 10 to 15, but I'll do some little more research on that. Look at all those guys standing on the gun there. And that's undivided back. Four to five, it looks like the older monitor ship on there. USS Cario. Here's a big gun, large mobile gun, Fort MacArthur. Five to six, linen card. Look at the gun on that thing. Big gun. Here's a Fort, four to five. Fort Sumner. I think it would do more. There's probably a lot of these out there. Here's one uh, Baltimore lighthouse and a boat. Seven to eight dollars I got on this card. There's the lighthouse right there. And there's the boat. So two for one deal. Fort Sumner again. Yep, Fort Sumner four to five. Tourist card. I can't say this name. This is a. Uh, a foreign card, so it'd be four to eight probably. Around in there, I'll have to translate it. Torpedo boat and doctors, three, four boats, five boats. So I got eight to ten on that card. Eight to ten dollars. And it's uh, torpedo boats in the wet dock, Norfolk, Virginia, Navy Yard. So eight to ten. Torpedo boats, five to six. Torpedo boats are cool. Here's one with some smoke, five to six. Who is this? Torpedo boat destroyer Lawrence. Torpedo boats fleet, five to six. I just wonder if this guy was on a torpedo boat though when I owned the collection. Five to six, same thing, torpedo boats. Um. Torpedo Boat Destroyer, Paul Jones. Five to six. This is Municipal Pier San Diego. Five to seven dollars for that Municipal Pier. It's a white border card. Right there, five to seven dollars. USS Torpedo Boat Destroyer Stewart. No smoke, but five to six, we'll see. Here's a Chrome card, Newport News. Uh, I think this is one that I'll, I already have. Four to five. John Craig, I think, too, I think I sold this to him. Four to five. Uh, this one. Loading planes at the Naval Operating Base. So they're loading planes. If you see right there, they got a crane lowering. There's a cable right there lowering that plane onto the deck. So that, that's a five to seven dollar card. I got to see how many are out there. If there's a lot out there, then to compete, I'll have to bring it down. But that's an, I haven't seen that one before. USS Chicago, four to five. USS Seattle, four to 
to five. It's got a little shadow of it on the back too. It's pretty neat. But four to five. Yeah, these are the ones that I think I sent him. Uh, New Orleans. I think this is the Skylab. Yeah, the Skylab. This is the one I picked up the Skylab, this uh, aircraft, New Orleans. So, four to five. U.S. Portland and Fish. Yeah, they, these are pretty well falling into the ones I probably sent them. Uh, Ticket on This is the Apollo 17 Lunar Recovery Ship. Four to five. I have a lot of those cards. USS Princeton, four to five. I didn't even uh, comp these because I know what they go for. USS America, I got a whole box full of these. Four to five. Cursorage, I've sold that. Four to five. These are all unposted. Grand Canyon, USS Grand Canyon, four to five. It's amazing how they are collecting postcards and then just one day they stop and sell their collection. Here's this four style. Four or five, I got a whole box of those too. Uh, Miss Billin ship, four to five. USS Cowpens. Who would name a boat Cowpens? I, there's a town called that too. USS Nautilus, now that's cool. Look, you got a helicopter sitting right there. One of those twin rotor helicopters going in. So, But it's still a four to five dollar card, crumb card. Klondike, USS Klondike, 455. The last card, USS Barnstall County. There you go. So those are all the actual comps of the cards that, from that album. Next, I'm going to uh, go out and list them. All cards now have been listed from album six. Let's look at the numbers, and I'll show you an update on the progress of the other albums. As you know, I've listed one through five already, and I have been selling, and I did sell some out of album six already as well. I've had these cards since 41 days, since the time they arrived is when I marked it, is 41 days. I have $442 left to go to get my money back. I've sold $858, uh, roughly, of the cards, or 66% of my money is back already. And that's just in 41 days and listing six of the albums. Here is the spreadsheet updated to now. The little highlighted green ones are albums that have already paid for themselves. I've already made more money sold than the album. Now I understand these are all gross numbers, there's fees, there's taxes, but for a baseline estimate, it'd be too difficult to go in and try to figure all that out. So I'm just giving you a baseline. So in your head, you know, if I've only made $10 more than what I paid for them, you know I have some other cost. But this is just a baseline, just to see if I get my money back and when. There was 248 cards, so that's the highest number of cards from an album already. I'm still using the 78 cents per card because I don't know what the total, total cards are done yet because I still got to do seven and eight. And then that'll give me my unit cost, which I'll change. Because some of the cards I had to throw out because they weren't politically correct, they had a war symbol on them, or they were just too damaged. My cost so far, I paid, you know, I paid $1,300 for these, this collection. And so my cost so far out of six albums is 936 Listed, if someone wrote me a check today for everything listed up to album six, I would make $8,400 out of my $1,300 investment. Not too shabby. I've sold $858 you know, worth or 103 of the cards already just in 41 days. So I put the capital out of $1,300 for 1,200 cards, and I'm right at 1,200 cards with six albums, I got two to go. And what I've seen in the other albums, there's not too many special cards in seven and eight, but enough to do it. But here's a progress report on some other stats that I do for this. And these are the progress that I'll put out every so often in the weekly videos, and I might do one for the playlist here throughout the year, just to let you know how I come up with, with putting out $1,300. And I am still a little amazed. I didn't know anything about these cards. New York, Bear Mountain, you know, stuff like that. I didn't know a lot about this. And I only had a 15-minute conversation with a gentleman. He was in California, and it was just reviewing pictures and what I asked questions of um, on there. So this was kind of a blind buy. I didn't touch them until they were delivered 41 days ago. So the listed men 
uh, out of album six was 455. That's my base. That's I usually don't sell cards under 455. The listed average out of album six is 570, which is the lowest out of all the albums so far. My max card listed, um, the highest card listed out of album six was 1455. Now what I've sold since I've listed album six is 409. Now that's probably an offer or someone did an offer or something like that. So it's not the 455, but they they probably a 10% off or something to someone. The sold average so far is 541, which is a, running a, a little lower than the average of all of them. And then the highest card I've sold out of album six is 755. But if you look at the totals at the bottom, you know, my min is 455. My average listed price on this album is basically seven dollars. And I paid 78 cents roughly for each card. The highest card out of all these albums was 2755 listed. My average sold is about 409. So there's been a lot of offers or a lot of people getting discount for buying buying. I had one guy buy 35 of these cards. Um out of one of you know, out of the collection. So 35 cards in one buy the average sold is 661 and my highest card sold was $35 and that was one of those insane asylums and I still have another one out there so I'm not doing too bad I got 66% of my money capital back and three of the albums are pretty well paid for themselves can't wait to do album seven and then we got one more after that album eight Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.